Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Frank, tell us, why is atheism unreasonable? Well, in the book, Stealing from God, Why Atheists Need God to Make Their Case, I explain this. It's in the chapter on reason. And two reasons atheists are unreasonable. Not atheists themselves as people, but their worldview is unreasonable. Number one, they think everything's material. Everything's just molecules in motion. Well, if we're just molecules in motion, if we're just nothing but, say, moist robots, why should we believe any thought that we have? Because every thought we have is the result of a previous natural cause over which we have no control. So atheism itself, if it's true, materialistic atheism, there's no way to show why it's true. Because we're not really reasoning, we're just reacting. That's the first reason atheism is unreasonable. The second reason it's unreasonable is because the very laws of logic that we're using right now and that the people out there are using to understand what we're saying are immaterial laws. They're not made of molecules. You're not gonna find the law of non-contradiction in your wood shop somewhere. Oh, there it is, right? <laughs> it's an immaterial reality, yet atheists are saying all there are are materials. Well, if all there are are materials, if we're, again, just moist robots, then there's really no way to know anything for sure. That's why I say atheism is unreasonable. It defeats itself. In fact, let me put it this way. Atheism has destroyed all tools necessary to do the job of discovering anything is true. Look, if atheism is true, there's no way to know atheism is true or anything else is true.